Oh, slow down now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I see me rolling on my scooter. 27 miles an hour. Should probably pull on the brakes. Hello and welcome to the EVRC where we are on the Escooter SX250 Series 3. And the reason we're out is because we're going to do some hill climbing. Not only that, we're going to do a range test as well. I've already done a video on this and it hit 100k, so it did really well. Thanks to everyone who watched it. But a lot of people in the comments did say, what's the point of a heavy moped-like e-bike, because it's about 54 kilograms. If it's only 250 watts, because it is street legal, what's the point if you can't get up hills? Because 250 watt e-bikes can't get up hills without a lot of effort from the rider. And the way the a scooter works is you've got to pedal the pedals, but it's set up in such a way that you're not really putting any effort in yourself. You're literally turning your feet in order to make the bike go forward. Which means if it couldn't get up a hill, there's not a lot you can do to help it. So we're going to put it to the test. We're going to take it to some hills, some little hills, and then leading up to a really big hill. And we're going to see how it does. And also, of course, we're going to take it to Sandy Lane and get an actual time for it. Because it's already been up Sandy Lane before and people still didn't believe it could go up a hill. But we're going to do it properly this time. We're going to get a proper time. So I set off in search of big hills, but on the way there were some other encounters with hills that whilst not super steep, would still force many a push biker off the saddle. But these were obviously no problem for the scooter. And remember, though you do need to pedal to keep the SX250 going, for the vast majority of the time you aren't going to be helping the bike at all. Now this is a hill, but we're not talking about hills like this, we mean proper hills. Yeah, proper. I wouldn't want to ride up what I just rid up there on a normal bike. So I mean, this is pretty steep. I wouldn't want to cycle up this. This does it. This doesn't even break a sweat. Good old skewer, still going 15.5 over the hill. And it's called Histons Hill, this as well. It's actually a hill. I don't know if that bit was the hill, but it was steep anyway. Let's go and find a hill, a proper hill. Bit of a hill here. On Bushbury Lane. A mild hill, 14 miles an hour up the hill. Again, no effort from yourself. And the great thing about going up hill is that afterwards you get to go down the hill. Yeah, here's a hill, fairly mild hill. But if I was on a bike, I'd be absolutely knackered. And believe me, some 250 watt e-bikes would not be able to get up this hill. Without power, anyway. Of which I am providing zero. So pretty much at the top, just passing Dunstall Park, where uh, the horse racing happens. Made famous in the film Mission Impossible 2, of course. And that's that hill done. After toying with the little hills, we finally arrived at a hill that, if memory serves me well, should pose a bit of a challenge to the SX250. This is called Church Road. Doesn't look like much at the moment, but it does get steep. So, it is getting steeper. And I think when you get around the corner, it gets even more steeper. Church Lane leading to Mill Lane, that's not steep, no, oh here we go, it's got 16, bit of a run up, 15, nah it's easy, Church Road, nothing, oh, and then we're going down again, wait a minute, <laughs> imposter, Fake Sandy Lane did actually seem quite steep, steeper than Church Road. But to go up Sandy Lane, we first had to go down it. Yeah! Fake Sandy Lane. From this end, it looks quite steep, actually. Fake Sandy Lane. Got 15 miles an hour. Bit narrow as well. Lovely, it's not one way. It's not one way, no. Oh, slowing down already. Oh. Come on, you can do fake Sandy Lane. 
Oh, it's not like a boy racer corner. La, 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 la. Just in case. Six miles an hour. It's pretty steep, this. It's not the steepest one we're going to do, but it's pretty steep. Okay. It's doing it, though. I think we're past the worst of it. He's like, what the hell is he doing? What the hell is that guy doing? Drury Lane? Drury Lane? Right, okay. Well, fake Sandy Lane was easy. I didn't even put any effort in then. That was nothing, fake Sandy Lane. You're not real Sandy Lane. But before the real Sandy Lane, the Escooter was about to reach its biggest test yet, Finchfield Hill. I'm pretty sure this road is actually steeper than real Sandy Lane. So, wish me luck. So this is a pretty big hill. Finchfield Hill. It's called hill, it's big enough to be called a hill. Let's go. Right, let's see how we do. See how we do up the Fitchfield Hill. Oh, that does look steep actually. Right, so if I get stuck, I just pull the brakes. Come on, come on. You can do it. 13, come on, overtake me. Got plenty of room. Oh, slowing down now. 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five. You know what? I can help a little bit and I'm not timing, so I am actually gonna pedal a tiny, tiny bit. Like 100% wasn't, or won't rather, on Sandy Lane, because it's been timed, but I got up, go down to six miles an hour. It's not too bad. I think I deserve a point. Whoa! Whee! I see me rolling on my scooter. 27 miles an hour. Should probably pull on the brakes. With Finchfield Hill in the bag, we set off for the ultimate hill climb test. All round here at least, Wittick Bank. Now, as I've said, we can help the bike a tiny bit if it struggles, but if the hill is just too steep, there won't be much we can do. We're gonna have to push. And that's going to annoy some people. You'll be happy to know, I haven't been on one pavement yet. Not one. Battery's not doing too bad. I've only done about, ooh, about 12 miles to get here. 68% battery. No, I think this is definitely steeper. Right, not much of a run up either. Let's see. Oh, is it? I think this is steep. I'm gonna try and avoid those. What's it called? We go 10 miles an hour. Whitting back. Come on. I told my wife about this. She was like, no, you'll die. Well, I still could, I suppose. Right, six. It's going slower. It does get hard to. You can kind of push it a bit. I'm going five miles an hour now. Back to six again. I am helping a little bit because you know most people would be able to, but I'm not doing much. I think it probably would die. Ugh. Six. Whew. Please sound recording. Oh. Oh, eight miles an hour now. It's flattened it a bit, it's flattened a bit. Nearly at the top, once you get to the top, you get to come back down the other side. And what I might do is turn around and there's a place called Sedgley. <laughs> and that has got some really steep hills. See what kind of uh, how, how far it will be to get there. Well, this is fine now. That first bit was really steep. But now, easy. 12 miles an hour now. Speed demon now. The Stappen. I've been here, up here, so many times going back from work. Never on a bike. It's a long old hill. Getting steep again. 
I mean, that bit goes pretty steep, but it's not worth a test. Oh, thorns. How many got shorts on? <laughs> right, priority, give way. Yes, please. I don't know where I'm going to stop there. <laughs> oh, my legs, I feel like it's weird because my legs are getting around sort of fast and I'm kind of helping, but I'm not really putting any effort in. Nine miles an hour, 61% battery. Hiya. Oh, that's it, we're at the top, that's the top now. It's done it, did Wittig Bank. You come, did Wittig Bank. Yes! And with Wittig Bank conquered, all there was left to do was post a time at Sandy Lane, the real Sandy Lane. Although there was also a range test still going on and to make things fair, I actually did Sandy Lane before everything. So actually, I'm in the middle of the countryside right now. I'm holding a tractor up. big pile of shit. Oh god, it's staying with me. It's uh, It won't go away. All that talk of poo got me a bit hungry. Hey, all right. Just get a bag of chips, please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've just gone past the road that I should have gone down to make this journey a lot shorter. <laughs> but at least it's turned this into a full kind of proper range test because I'm now down to 12% battery. Currently going up one of the many hills I've done on this hill climb test with the e-scooter SX250. And as you can see, despite this being a decently steep hill, it eats them up. Watch out for that video coming soon on YouTube. So let's see the sandy lane time and after that we'll find out what kind of range the scooter gets when it also has to go up a load of hills. Three, two, one, go! Right, onto the pedals. I'd be interested to know how much the battery drops going up this hill. Oh, slowing down, seven. Now, reminder that I'm not actually helping by turning my feet. All I'm doing is making my legs go round and that is what makes the motor go. You cannot press a throttle. There's no throttle apart from the green button that gets you going at the start. So that's all I'm doing. In fact, you're barely able to help, if you, even if you wanted to. Like, once you're going at 15 miles an hour, you've got, to, you've got to pedal pretty damn fast if you want to have any impact at all, and even then it's going to be minimal. It, the idea of the scooter is that it does it all itself. And we're up. And we knew it could go up because we've been up before, we just didn't time it. But also I messed it up because I was using the green button that minimises the speed to five miles an hour. And we're about to finish now. All right, there we go. Battery dropped 3% going up that hill. And that time puts the Escooter SX250 in the very respectable place above the fastest e-scooter and below the Engway M20, a 750 watt e-bike that peaks at a thousand. That's not bad at all. And for a 250 watt street legal e-bike that's heavy and built like a moped, one that 14 year olds can ride, I think it's done pretty well. How do you think the Escooter did? Let us know in the comments below. Back home and 
for the range test portion of this video well i set off with 98 percent i've got back i've got seven percent and i've done 28 miles now a scooter say you should get a range between 40 and 50 obviously that's always like perfect conditions decent weight and things like that so quite a bit heavier than that we've almost still from probably about 110 kilograms or something like that uh, going up all those hills as well 28 miles but only using 91 percent of the battery i don't think that's too bad to be honest i don't know what do you think in the comments all those extra extra weight all those hills 91 percent of the battery is 28 miles what do you reckon but i'm fairly impressed well i'm not mega impressed but i'm i'm happy with it i'm happy with it so that was the range test again thank you for a scooter for lending me the sx250 they haven't given it me they've just lent it me i've got to give it back at some point uh, i've had it since easter um i might as well mention base camp boards who supplied me with this lovely helmet for free as well they haven't asked me to i just like it so much i like mentioning it uh, because it's got the evrc on it which uh, i love um, but it's also a really comfortable helmet. I barely know it's there. It's got a latch at the back, which means one size fits all. And it's got the rear light, so at night time, everyone can see you flashing around. Not like that, riding around like a Cylon. So you have been watching the EVRC and the SX250 by e-scooter. Absolutely bossing hills like I knew it could. Have you enjoyed that? Or if you found it useful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to get more e-bike, e-scooter, e-skate content. Until next time, ride safe.